So in place of negation of negation P, you can write it as P. P and negation Q means you can write it as false. I'll remove this bracket. Negation into negation P means I can write it as P. By using this inverse, we can simplify the contrapositive. Hello everyone, welcome back to my new session. I'm Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyas from First Aid College, Mysore. In my previous session, I have discussed about loss of logic. I have discussed, we have different loss of logic, distributive law, associative law, idempotent law, identity law and double negation law and De Morgan's law and associative law. So I have discussed all the laws with proof. So today I will discuss the problems on loss of logic. So I will explain this problem. Simplify the following compound proposition using loss of logic. Here I have one compound proposition. I have to simplify this proposition. First problem, simplify the following compound proposition using loss of logic. Here I have one proposition. I have to prove that LHS is equal to RHS. So your LHS is P or Q and negation of and negation P and Q is equal to P. Your RHS value should be P. So we have to prove that LHS is equal to RHS. So first consider LHS. So LHS is first write the LHS statement negation of again I have negation here negation P and Q. First write the LHS statement. Here you can observe this. I have two negations. Negation and negation P. And I have flower bracket and parenthesis. So first I will remove this flower bracket. First statement I will write it as it is. And in the second statement I will remove this flower bracket. So, if you are multiplying this negation into negation P, you will get same value. So, negation of negation P, involution law. So, you will get P only. And P, so if you are removing this bracket and if you are multiplying this negation to this part, so it will change us to R operator and negation Q. I will repeat, here I have negation Inside flower bracket, I have again negation P and Q. I am removing this flower brackets. I can multiply this negation to negation P. If I am multiplying this negation to negation P, you can use the formula called involution law that is double negation. Negation of negation P is equal to negation of negation P is equal to P. So, in place of negation of negation P, you can write it as P. And symbol changes to R and you can multiply this negation Q. So, now I will take this statement P and negation Q as yes. So, S is equal to P and negation Q. In the next step, I will consider this S is equal to P and negation Q. So, in place of, in place of this statement, I will write is yes. So now I have P or Q and yes. So I can make it as P or Q and yes, right? I can write this also. So now what is distributive law? So that formula is in a form of P or Q and R. So I can write it is P and Q and P, B, R. So it is distributive law. So I will write so P or Q and P or yes. Clear? So now this is in a form of distributive law. Right? So now I will replace this yes value. So what is yes? Yes is equal to P or negation Q. So in place of yes you can write P or negation Q. So in next step I will replace this yes value. So P or Q and P or yes means I will write P and negation Q. Now you can use another law P or P. 
So what you will get? P or P means you will get P only. That is idempotent law. So you can apply idempotent law in place of P or P. You can write it is P again or and negation. So now to this formula, I will again apply distributive law P or Q negation Q. So what is Q and negation Q? You can apply Q and negation Q. So in place of Q and negation Q, what you can apply? So I will use this complement law P and negation Q means you can write it is false F. P and negation P. So P V F. So what is P V F? In place of P or F, you can write it is P. That is your RHS value. So in place of P or F, you can put it is P. This is your RHS value. I will repeat, please understand the concept here. You have to apply all the laws. For this propositions, you have to simplify this and you should prove it is LHS is equal to RHS. So first I will remove this bracket, flower bracket. So inside the flower bracket, I have negation P and Q. So I will replace this, I will remove this bracket. Negation into negation P means I can write it is P. And again, I will multiply this negation to this part. So it will become R operation and negation Q. So this part I can consider it as yes. So I am considering this P or negation Q is equal to yes. In place of this, I will write it as yes. So now again, you can apply distributive law. Please first remember the laws. So easily you can substitute the laws. Now P or Q and yes. So it will become distributive law. So now I will replace this yes value. So yes means I have written P or negation Q. So in place of yes, I have substituted the values. So in place of P and negation Q. So now again I will substitute one more law that is item potent law P or P. So what is P or P? It is P. So in place of P or P, I will write it is P only. And now P or Q and P or negation Q. So now again I am applying distributive law. So it will become this. So in place of Q and negation Q. So what is Q and negation Q? So you can write it is F. And P or F means I can write it is P. So this is your RHS value. By using laws of logic we can simplify the propositions. So you have different laws, please practice the laws and you have to remember this law. So easily you can substitute and you can simplify the proof. So this is your next problem. So here again you have the same propositions but here in place of and we have or operator. So again same thing, first remove this flower bracket and you can multiply this negation to this part P and Negation into Q means it is negation Q. So R changes to and. So now I will take this as yes or you can take in other name also. So yes is equal to P and negation Q. So in place of this you can put yes. So same method you can apply to this proposition also. Please practice this. It is your assignment question. Same method you can apply to this proposition also. Please practice this problem. And next topic is converse, inverse and contrapositive. So what is this converse, inverse and contrapositive? Here I have P conditional Q. That means P implication Q. This symbol is called as conditional. P implication Q. For this conditional statement, what is converse, inverse and contrapositive? So here I have P implication Q. Then Q implication P is called the converse of P implication Q. I will repeat. This is your conditional statement. So what is converse of this P implication Q? It is Q implication P. This is called as converse. 
you just interchange the propositions. So, P to Q, here Q implication P. This is called as converse. And what is inverse? So, here I have P and Q. P implication Q. So, what is the inverse of this P implication Q? That is negation P implication negation Q. So, this is called as inverse. P implication Q. Converse is Q implication P. And inverse is negation P implication negation Q. This is called as inverse. And what is contrapositive? So, contrapositive. By using this inverse, we can simplify the contrapositive. That is negation Q implication negation P. So, this is called as contrapositive. Contrapositive. So, easily you can simplify this converse, inverse and contrapositive. By using this conditional statement, we can simplify this converse, inverse and contrapositive. So, let us understand with an example. Here, P, I have two statements P and Q. Today is Sunday. Q statement is, it is a holiday. What is converse, inverse and contrapositive to this statement? So, first you have to write the conditional. So, P implication Q. Converse statement. So, what is converse statement for this? Q implication P, right. So, Q means what? It is a holiday. Here, I am using implication. So, what is implication? If Q, then P. If it is a holiday, that is statement Q. If it is a holiday, then today is Sunday. This is your converse statement. And what is inverse? Inverse means negation P implication negation Q. Right? So, converse, inverse statement, if today is holiday, negation P. So, what is P? P means today is Sunday. Negation P is, if today is not Sunday, then it is not a holiday. So, it is inverse statement. If today is not a holiday, then it is not a holiday. It is inverse. And what is contrapositive statement? Contrapositive means negation Q implication negation P. Negation P. If it is not a holiday, then today is not Sunday. That's it. So, here you have to understand the question properly. We have two statements. For this statements, we can write the converse statement, inverse statement and contrapositive statement. By applying this method, easily we can simplify. This is two marks question. So, they will give the statement. So, you can write the converse, inverse and contrapositive statements. So, next example. The given sentence is, if 5x minus 1 is equal to 9, then x is equal to 2. I have two sentence. This sentence is of the form if P then Q. So, this is P statement and this is Q statement. P statement is if 5x minus 1 is equal to 9 then x is equal to 2 is statement Q. By using this we can find the converse, inverse and contrapositive. I have two statements P is 5x minus 1 is equal to 9, Q is equal to x minus 2. So, what is converse here? Converse means P implication Q. So, Q statement is x is equal to 2. So, what is converse for this? If x is equal to 2, then 5x minus 1 is equal to 9. This is converse statement. And what is inverse statement? Negation P implication negation Q. If negation P means if 5x minus 1 is not equal to 9, then x is not equal to 2. This is inverse statement. And what is contrapositive? Contrapositive means negation Q, implication negation P. If X is not equal to 2, the second statement, if X is not equal to 2, then 5X minus 1 is not equal to 9. So, it is very easiest concept, converse, inverse and contrapositive. The next example, the given statement is, if it rains, then I will stay at home. Please practice this. This is your assignment question. If it rains, that means statement P is if it rains, I will stay at home. This is your second statement. So, P statement is it rains. 
second statement q is i will stay at home so what is converse for this converse means q implication p what is q if i will stay at home then it rains this is converse statement and what is inverse statement inverse means negation p implication negation q if it does not rain p means it rains negation p means if it does not rain then i will not stay at home that is called as inverse statement and what is contrapositive statement if i will contrapositive means negation q implication negation p if i will not stay at home that is negation q if i will not stay at home then it does not rain so this is called as converse inverse and contra positive it is very easiest topic please practice all the problems easily you can score in second unit also today you learned the problems from laws of logic and also i have discussed this converse inverse and contra positive so in my next session i will come with a new concept thank you